Sometimes you spend days, months, hours in all kind of weather conditions, you know, just just for that one powerful image that can tell a great story. I'm Abigail Ng. I put myself in the shoes of a wildlife photographer at the top of his game, Jaya Prakash Bojan, to see what it takes to perform at the highest level. We are here at Pasiris Park in the wee hours of the morning to meet up with Jaya to look for some owls. Sometimes I'm just scanning with a red light like this. The eyes will glow, you know, oh, okay. so it's easy to kind of catch them. Oh, the, the buffy is there. You see there? Yeah. There she is. Oh, she's got a rat in her mouth. There you go, she's got a rat. So this is the male. Photographing wildlife is predominantly about 80% of your knowledge on your surroundings, your landscape, your habitat, your subject, your animal behavior. That was probably the more challenging part than the actual science of taking photographs or filming. The owls that I've been shooting here at Pastures Park, people always ask me, you know, where do you find them? How do you find them? So usually I'm here in the park by like 5 a.m. in the morning, um, trying to listen to the owls calls. Pretty much early in the mornings is when they're they're very active, and that's the only time it's easy to get them in action. It's interesting because, especially in the Pastures Park contest, you will see the owls are always living around the restaurants. It's also because they primarily feed on rats. There's a decent amount of food source for them in this area. This is just basic knowledge that will help you uh, easily find your subject. Right? You're not going to see the owls if you just walk into the park for 15 minutes and try and find them. It's not going to happen, right? So, Yael, I have a little task for you. These are some pictures of some of our uh, local birds that I shot here at the Pastors Park. So this is a collared kingfisher. This is a crested goshawk. It's a bird of prey. This is the buffy fish owl. For starters, I'm, I've picked some of the easiest ones for you. They're easier. The easiest ones to spot. So these are the three. Uh, let's see if we can find them. But I, I, I only have a phone camera. I don't know how I'm going to take photos like this. I don't have something like that, nothing close to that. Oh, Abby, I'll put this for you. I grew up in the mountains down south in India, uh, surrounded by some amazing wildlife. Uh, I had the opportunity to see tigers, elephants, leopards, and all kinds of wildlife around me uh, where I grew up. So me becoming a nature and wildlife photographer was kind of like a natural progression for me. But this is not what I did all my life. So I spent about 19 and a half years on the corporate side. I think somewhere in 2016 is when I said, you know what, I'm, I'm done with my desk job. I really wanted to do something that I really care about. So that's when I decided to quit and um, pursue my passion for nature, wildlife and traveling. There was a lot of ambiguity. I was really not sure whether I would make it, you know, what happens to my career. But I think 2017 was the game changer in my life. I won the National Geographic uh, Nature Photographer of the Year. For a photographer, winning a Nat Geo is like winning an Oscar. So that kind of put my career on the fast track. It was a photo of an orangutan peeping from behind a tree. I shot this image in Borneo, Kalimantan, Tanjung Puting National Park. It kind of happened 50% accidentally. I was originally there looking for proboscis monkeys. Accidentally met some folks there who told me about this orangutan which was seen hanging around these waters. So it took me about three days before I got that final shot. It was kind of a hide and seek game that me and the orangutan were playing. And the winning image, interestingly, is the first shot that I took because he was peeping from behind the tree and I was peeping from behind my tree to see if he was still there and we had kind of like this eye contact. I mean, that was just a brilliant, amazing eye contact because he had that curiosity in his face, trying to figure out who's this or you know what's happening. His expression was just amazing. Why, why I press and nothing happens? <laughs> I can't tell if it's a branch or a bird. <laughs> Looks like a bird. Yeah, yeah, I think it's moving. Oh, 
<laughs> my arms are so tired. <laughs> So yesterday when I tried to look for the three different birds myself, I don't think it went that well. So today we are back here at Pasir Ris Park so that I can learn from the pro himself. Okay, come Clint. Okay, you see, you see the tree here, right? Yeah. Towards the branch, you can see two small eyes. Just focus there. That's the eyes, you see. Um, because he's facing that side. He's peeking out. Yeah, he's peeking out. So the one in the centre is the baby. Oh. Yeah, it does look a bit small. Yeah. And you see now, in the foreground, you see all these beautiful leaves. Yeah. And through the tiny little gap, you can see the owl there. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So you kind of frame the owl. Yeah, so you kind of focus on the owl through that little gap. So you get a nice, beautiful, green foreground. Where? So let me see if I can get a shot. I'm just using the, the leaves in the foreground to bring more layers into the picture. So your picture is not just one dimensional, you know. Yeah. A lot of people get carried away when they see my pictures. Sometimes they are like, Oh, this guy has a great life because one day they know I'm in Japan, the next they know I'm in Africa, oh, he's, he's living his life, but uh, it's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of hard work, tough weather conditions, uh, a lot of patience. There have been times when we've spent days and days and weeks and I've come back with like zero pictures or zero videos after having spent uh, thousands of dollars, right, because there's no guarantee it's something like wildlife. Actually, you know what? I really like this shot. <laughs> Actually, this shot can be improvised to become a very creative shot. I didn't do it on purpose. Yeah, you, she, she, got a, she got a very... Interesting. Uh, creative shot by mistake because of a camera shake. <laughs> 